Okay, so my name's Dominic Balashevsky. I'm head of New Ventures at Decision Tech. So I'd say the first big trend is GDPR. It's something which is on everybody's radars. It has been for a little while now, but it's here. We are in GDPR land. And I guess the biggest challenge is there's still a lot of unknowns. There was uh, speaking to other affiliates and businesses monetizing using all sorts of channels, I guess everyone was kind of aware of or was aware of what the regulations would be when they came into force. But in terms of how they implemented it, they were waiting to see what everybody else did. And we're still in this kind of, we're still in a bit of a no man's land because what will inevitably happen is there'll be a first big fine. And that will be the line in the sand of this implementation is wrong. And suddenly everyone will have their yardstick to which to compare, which to compare to which to compare themselves and it will it will begin to crystallize how people should behave around GDPR but there's a lot of uncertainty at the moment and there's also a lot of stuff which was acceptable it was ways of making money which you just can't do anymore so email especially in the UK has it was going dying for sort of a number of years but that's very much a, a channel which is I don't even know where the where where that's being used really from a mass market perspective yes absolutely still used from direct but gone in the days of shotgun mail shots, for example. Uh, and the same is true in terms of collecting user data. So selling data onto other people used to be quite easy to do that. Not so much now. So we're still, even though we are in GDPR land, we're still in a little bit of a world of slight unknowns until we see a first few finds, I think. Um, I think another big trend at the moment is influencers. So um, I'm chairing a panel at, at, at Affiliate Summit East next week, actually, about influencers because it's my, my view is it's kind of the the newest old trend in in the affiliate industry. Because what is what is an influencer? There's an argument that a blogger or even a comparison site or a review site or anyone who is changing someone's or influencing someone's opinion of something is an influencer. Yet we as an industry are suddenly obsessed primarily by people with heavy sort of social media clout. And so I think we're still getting our heads around as an industry, what is an influencer? How should we as affiliates or we as merchants engage with them? And crucially, how should we track and remunerate them? So that's a really interesting trend at the moment, I think. And a, a third trend, if I kind of go for the hat trick, is I think we're seeing a big entrance of what we would call media publishers. So new sites or review sites, increasingly aware of the opportunities within the affiliate space because these guys are used to monetizing their sites using um, display inventory and with a combination and selling data and the combination of GDPR programmatic and that nexus of those two it's becoming increasingly difficult to make the same amount of money from those channels so these guys have large traffic volumes and aren't doing very much in affiliates or haven't been until very recently we now we work with several of those guys and they've gone from it being something on the radar to we're going to do this now and the speed at which those guys are growing is is very impressive very impressive another big trend i think is open banking and fintech so we are seeing a really big change in how people can access their financial data it used to be you'd go to your bank and your bank would tell you how much money you've got and your bank would show your transactions and that's how it worked. We are now in a world where anyone can access their data using any service they want. And so there are loads of account, they're called account aggregation services, but basically apps where you can bring all of your accounts into one place and those apps will analyze your spending and your money for you, which is really useful for consumers. But what it means is those apps can then start understanding how you like to spend and serving you useful insights as to how you can save money. And a big part of that, I think, is going to be your insurance is due for renewal or you're spending this amount of money on travel or on your holidays, here is an offer which is specifically relevant to you, which will be great for consumers, but those deals will be monetized uh, through affiliate links. And we are right on the cusp of this, but I think over the next five years, the way, ha the way that people engage with financial services and the way that they engage with other sort of marketing, so shopping and um, utility purchases, for example, will all merge and suddenly we'll become used to our bank or a financial service app or a fintech app, there's loads of them out there, being the place we are looking for our financial data and them telling us or giving us recommendations as to where we should, we should be shopping, which is genuinely useful for us. And so we'll respond to that and then buy. 
and that means our relationship with, the, with that financial service is changing. We're no longer just paying them for a financial product, they're also becoming a curator of deals and offers for us, which used to be an entirely separate sort of industry. So I think it's a really interesting one to watch.